What's up guys, in this review here with iPhone OS 4.0 um, This is the next update coming to the iPhone and the iPod Touch It has much weighted features including multitasking So let's get right to it So here we have the standard lock screen uh, We just slide to unlock um, You're brought to your home page And you will notice that the dock has changed The dock is now 3D again as it was like in the uh, original iPod Touch and it's just 3D on the iPhone also um, you notice that I have many icons in this one big icon here and this is a new feature called folders so this allows you to group uh, different icons into um, one area and it condenses the space so if I click on the folder it opens up with, and shows me all the apps that I have in here each folder holds up to 12 apps and uh, this is very useful because right now I have all my social networking apps here so I don't have to flick through all my pages to look for the apps I'm trying to get to so uh, to create a folder we just hold on an icon and drag it over another icon and uh, we create a folder now for some reason it renamed it lifestyle when I dragged it on the settings which doesn't make much sense uh, if I want to rename it, I can just hit the X, and then I could type a whole new name and everything, and uh, and then that's it. And now I have that folder. So uh, to delete the folder, we just go back into it and drag the apps out. Now please note this is a beta, so it does have some bugs. Like uh, when I drag that one app out of the folder, the folder didn't disappear. There we go. Okay. Now the next one is uh, multitasking, long awaited. So if you double tap the home button, everything slides up and now you have a row of icons on the bottom that you could scroll left and right through. And uh, these are all your running apps. So if I want to switch to settings app, I just click it, it switches, double tap and it brings it up again. If I want to go to uh, da, 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 my Twitter, TweetDeck, and it switches right back. Um, and then if I want to go home, it's just one tap, and we're home. And to close the app, so you double tap, you hold on the app you want to close, a minus appears, and you just click the minus, tap the minus. And then one tap for the home button, and you're out of the multitasking. Uh, I ran 20 apps at once, and uh, it I didn't reach a limit. <laughs> Obviously, you don't really want to be running 20 apps at once. But when it was, I really didn't notice any slowdown. So that's pretty good. So good job, Apple. All right, so on to a brand new feature called Game Center. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Now Game Center over here is um, Apple's like Xbox Live for the iPod Touch and iPhone. Uh, if we go into it, it brings you to your own account and uh, note this isn't going to be released with the um, what should you call it? With the 4.0 update, it's going to be released later this year. Uh, and you can view your friends, any requests you have, and you'll be able to do matchmaking and stuff on here, like that. So your name, you could update your status, and so on. So let's get out of that. Go home. Whoops. Okay. Um, now another big change is you're able to set a custom wallpaper on your device. So let's say I want to set the earth. So I just hit the earth, go to set, and I could choose set for home screen, lock screen, or both. So right now I'm going to set it as both. So it's a saving photo. If you see, when I go back home, now my background is changed to the earth. The earth. And also my lock screen. So uh, another thing 
that uh, is an update is you could whoops you can set as your password you can change it to a word now uh, see right now it says simple passcode on so if I set a password it's gonna uh, give me an option to do four numbers but if I turn simple passcode off and I go turn passcode on now I could actually type a word if I want to but I'm not gonna set a password so I'll click cancel and I like the old way the four numbers um, there is also a unified mailbox now uh, so if you have multiple accounts you can view them all in one mailbox I'm not going to go into that right now though uh, the photos app has ability for faces uh, and events so if you use iPhoto it should show your faces here and that's pretty much it and calculator has a new icon right now um, this is a beta please note uh, so there are bugs in it it will be released this summer and uh, it's an update to look forward to so please rate comment and subscribe. Oh, wait, there's no rating. So please uh, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.